Hey guys, it's me here, Destry. Hey! Sorry if you can hear a noise in the background, I got my fan on. And real quick, what this video is going to be about, because I had gotten a comment for somebody asking me how to get to the area underneath Stormvale, where they have the uh, weird uh, dead god slash alien monster. If you don't know why I say dead god, uh, progress farther in the story, you might understand why I'm saying that. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm going to actually show you two ways how to get there from uh, two separate bonfire graces, whatever. Uh, this is probably what I would consider to be the intended route to go. Um, just following where I'm going here. And yeah, I would say this is probably the way you would initially want to go, like on your first playthrough here. Because it'll also unlock a shortcut. Um, but there is a quicker way if you don't want to go through doing everything you see me doing here. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying Elden Ring so far. I just beat it like a day or two ago, and I enjoyed it. Uh, some of the bosses are complete bullshit, I'm not going to lie. I think due to the fact that they have the statues and a lot of the bosses are really close to where you uh, um, fight them, like the, the graces or the statues are really close to where you fight the boss, they make the bosses a lot more bullshit, it feels like. Like in the other Souls games, there were some bullshit bosses, but <laughs> they feel especially bullshit here. Some of them. Not, not many. Only a few. But, um, yeah. If you saw there was, like, a sign message thing that was from one of the NPCs basically telling you to come down here. And, yeah. If you open that door, I was just said that is the shortcut to get to this grace here. Which is the lift side chamber one. You'll, you'll end up hitting this chamber, the lift side chamber of grace, before you hit the one next to the Godric boss fight. So... Um, I'll show you in a bit after I show you me going down here. I'll show you where the uh, the second way that you can get down here is that is quicker. Um, and you, if you just wanted to get down here real quick to get the items or to see the the things down here, um, and you don't care about the shortcut, you can just go from the lift side chamber and come down. I'll show you here in a bit. Um, but I would say for a flirt, like your first time through, probably do the. Uh, do the first way I just showed you so that way you can also get the shortcut because you'll end up missing the shortcut if you take the short the shorter way down um, but yeah and then you just see you go down the scaffolding here and there I am right there now I'm gonna pull up back at the lift side chamber grace in here it's gonna cut in a second and we'll go from there so yeah so that door right there is the one that we opened with the shortcut I know it's already open on my file but uh, your first time through, you'll open that door if you go the way that I showed you. Or not not that door, I'm sorry, it's the one behind you. That is the door that you would take to initially get into this room uh, from outside. You'll see this is like near the entrance of the castle or something like that. Uh, I'm going to go back out to the front here. As you can tell, this is all... Um, I'm recording my voice after the fact because uh, I can't do this while I'm playing at the same... Well, I could, but it's, it's a mess and I don't feel like doing that. Um, but yeah, so you see, the first time you're here, there's going to be a item on that guy's body over there. But if you go there, and you look down, you're going to see that there's a platform. Still no head. Eh. Uh, but um, I know that's a big drop, but you should be able to survive it even if you're at a low level. Because if I'm correct, fall damage is percentage based. So it, it's a set damage regardless of how much health you have. And as you can see, didn't have to go through that whole uh, maze earlier, and already back down here. And that took, a, you know, considerably less time than the first route, but you do miss the shortcut and all that stuff. So, figure since I'm here, I will show you guys just this whole area. Now that um, I know in the first video I made of this, there was a boss. If you didn't know that, if this is your first time seeing this, there is a boss towards the end of this little area, little mini boss, and he will probably push your shit in if you're not high enough level or if you're not good at dodging because it's a uh, it's annoying it's one of those big snake thing enemies that spit yellow fire and eat you and like one shot you basically and yeah he'd be down here now i already killed him so yeah but when you jump down here the ground will start shaking and then he'll pop up from the front of you if you see my last video that's the first time i actually saw him um but yeah you go through here there's gonna be some stuff on the floor and you want to pick all that up. I was just looking up, uh, seeing the red sky. I forgot uh, what that meant. <laughs> I don't know why. 
And yeah, here's the little alien fuck. And over here would be a, a nice item. I forget what it is. But yeah, uh, this is him. I don't really know what it is, but like I said, it's, a, it's either an alien or some type of uh, dead god being. If you don't know why I say that, uh, keep going through the story. Uh, if you follow one of the NPC's quest lines, you'll find another one that looks like that. What I'm showing here is the elevator that I was just at. Just at the top of it, you can still see a mushroom face down there. And as you'll see, this this ladder takes you up to this spot right here. Which you should be familiar if you've been through the castle normally. And if you don't remember, then uh, just give me a second. I'm just kind of showing around this area. And you'll end up right here, which is kind of like the main room where you fight the uh, the grafted spider lady thing. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope this helped you out, and see ya.